Hi guys, this is Rabbit Hope here, and today I'm gonna be talking about this whole data login failure thing. So I'm trying to load it up right now. Um, I mean, this game is really fun. It's had a lot of issues, and I mean, a lot. So it's it's a new game just came out. Games are hard to develop, and stuff like this is gonna happen. This is the database. Login failure. Now, I'm going to talk about different ways I've tried to fix this so that you don't waste your time trying them. So there's, I've tried uninstalling it and reinstalling it. I've tried restarting my Steam. I've tried logging out of my Steam and logging back in. <laughs> tried shutting down my computer and turning it back on. And I've tried clicking retry a thousand times, which everyone told me to do. Um, one of my friends said it, she just kept hitting retry after like two hours, and finally she got in. Obviously me and my friends are all very addicted to video games, and this is a really good game, so I can understand why they would sit there for two hours and do that. I thought about it briefly myself, but I have Dead by Daylight to fall back on, so I'm gonna go do that, because I wanted to reach rank one as a survivor anyways. Um, but I also wanted to address the issue in the game. Uh, we're gonna go to the forums and take a look. They just showed that the patch is live. Uh, they just recently released the patch. You'd think this would be in it, but this is a big issue that they have to go from account to account to fix. It says it right here in this middle paragraph, if you don't feel like reading all of it. It says, as for those who have the database login failure slash saving profile data error, this is a back-end issue for servers. Back-end issue? As in, not important, not at the top of their list to fix? I'm joking. They, they're working hard on it, and just the fact that they mentioned it shows that they're working on it. So don't say that they're worse than other people because they're not. Every new game is going to have its issues. Tons of games I played, Seven Days to Die, Ark, uh, Dead by Daylight, Fallout 4, Skyrim, there's a lot of games I've played, even, I mean, Conan Exiles was the biggest disappointment I've ever played, but, uh, I've played a lot of disappointing games, but they do get better with time, so, you just have to keep that in mind and realize that they are working on it, which is more than most developers would tell you about. Most developers wouldn't even tell you they're working on it. So, here we go. They're focusing on it. They say they're incrementally working on that, and it is a separate issue from the patch. They will be going from account to account to fix it. Uh, this one's going to take some time to fix, but everyone will eventually have that issue removed for the population that still has it. Population makes it sound like a lot of people, but they probably have a lot more devs than than say like Dead by Daylight or Seven Days to Die does. So they'll probably get this fixed a lot faster than what most people think. So instead of taking like a full week to fix, it may take just a couple of hours or probably be back up tomorrow or the day before. My friend says it's been going on since yesterday. She was sitting there click clicking retry for two hours before she got into a match. So the fact that this has been going on for since yesterday I would have to say that it's probably not going to be back up till tomorrow or the next day. So I'm not a dev, but that's my assumption on how much time it would take. That's how much I would guess since it's been going on since yesterday. And I know it didn't happen the first day it released because it released the night before yesterday on the 25th. And I played it right as soon as it released, like hit the install and was in a game instantly. So I know the game did not have this issue when it first released. So for it to have this issue on the 26th, probably sometime after they released the first patch for it, uh, it started doing this. So the patch is probably what caused it, and they're going to have to keep working on it to get it fixed. So don't worry too much about this, you guys. They are working on it. They're going to see if it'll fix. Uh, they improved a lot of other things too, so I'll talk about that stuff too. They fixed the, you know, how you would start a party and 
you'd try to do a quick play match and everybody would get kicked so you'd have to go through uh, your Steam and click join game through their name in order to get into a public game with them. Well, they fixed that. Uh, they fixed a matchmaking splicing issue, the UE4 bug that was causing the game to freeze when I'm plugging headphones. They fixed the push to talk. This one really pissed me off because I couldn't play with the controller because it was putting my mic on blast the whole time. As soon as I hit my joystick, it would instantly put me into push to talk and I couldn't turn it off in the settings or anything like that. I couldn't do anything to fix it. I tried everything. So that's a problem that they fixed that was really important. Um, they fixed the idle timer. They fixed foot sliding when using the flare gun or shotgun. They disabled VR plugins to fix dialogues prompting them to use them. They fixed players getting the public health achievement for healing themselves. I mean, that kind of sucks. It'd be pretty nice to get the healing achievement for healing yourself. I'm pretty sure I got that one. Uh, fix the stats that are not associated with a leaderboard and not always updating on Steam. They fixed a permanent black screen on systems that do not support the intro videos correctly and are working on finding out why that occurs on some systems. And then they also fixed the intro outro videos and several dedicated and listen server specific crashes. So they fixed a lot of that. They also fixed like when you'd be in a server and it'd be a good server and for no reason at all it'd kick you. They fixed that. That was the matchmaking slicing issue causing potentially good servers to be ignored or discarded, which sucked because me and my friends would find a good server that we could all play on so that we could get a complete party. You know, a random would join. That was perfectly fine. Me and my friends play fair. We don't believe in, like, telling the killer where everybody is or anything like that because it's ridiculous. The only time we have done that was when other people were trolling us and our friend happened to be the killer when we were getting trolled. Took full advantage of that. And I always will if they do something like that to me. I don't like getting trolled. And I'm more than happy to kill anybody who trolls me. In games. Just to be specific, so anybody doesn't take that in a bad way. In games, I'm willing to take you out. But, uh... Anyways. All in all, I wouldn't worry too much about it. The game's gonna get fixed, it's just... Like any new game that comes out, it's got an issue that happens. Server issues are some of the most common issues you'll find in new games. So don't worry about it, they're going to fix it, and you'll be playing Friday the 13th in no time. This has been Rabid Hope, and just remember you guys, Rabid Hope's a savage. So thanks for watching, and have a great day you guys. Bye bye. One more time, we're going to try it one more time before I leave. Maybe a miracle will happen. Come on. No, no. Go fuck yourself, Hope, is what you're saying, game? Alright. Alright, I see how it is. That's fine. No gonna throw this computer in the trash. Just kidding. <laughs> Bye guys.